Good morning, boys and girls. Today we will be reading the chapter called Awards. It's on page 302. Augie just heard Mr. Tushman speak at their graduation ceremony, and now they'll be receiving some awards. Just like you guys will receive, not all of you, but some of you will receive some awards at graduation if we feel like you deserve it. You get um, good grade awards, you get citizenship awards if you're a good person, if you're kind. So let's see if Augie gets an award. I liked Mr. Tushman's speech, but I have to admit, I kind of zoned out a little during some of the other speeches. I tuned in again as Miss Rubin started reading off names of kids who made the high honor roll because we were supposed to stand up when our names were called. So I waited and listened for my name as she went down the list alphabetically. Reed Kingsley, Maya Markowitz, August Pullman. So he received high honors, so like probably all A's. I stood up. Then when she finished reading off the names, she asked us all to face the audience and take a bow, and everyone applauded. I have no idea where in that huge crowd my parents might be sitting. All I could see were the flashes of light from people taking photos and parents waving at their kids. I pictured mom waving at me from somewhere, even though I couldn't see her. Then Mr. Tushman came back to the podium to present the medals for academic excellence. And Jack was right. Imena Chin won the gold medal for overall academic excellence in the fifth grade. Charlotte won the silver medal. Charlotte also won a gold medal for music. Amos won the medal for overall excellence in sports, which I was really happy about because ever since the nature retreat, I considered Amos to be like one of my best friends in school. But I was really, really thrilled when Mr. Tushman called out Summer's name for the gold medal in creative writing. I saw Summer put her hand over her mouth when her name was called. And when she walked up onto the stage, I yelled, woohoo, Summer, as loudly as I could, though I don't think she heard me. After the last name was called, all the kids who had just won awards stood next to each other on stage, and Mr. Tushman said to the audience, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored to present you with this year's Beecher Prep School Scholastic Achievers. Congratulations to all of you. I applauded as the kids bowed on stage. I was so happy for summer. The final award this morning, said Mr. Tushman after the kids on stage had returned to their seats, is the Henry Ward Beecher Medal to honor students who have been notable or exemplary in certain areas throughout the year. So that just means like if you've done something significantly um, great or you've done something overly kind or you've just done something that makes you stand out from other kids. Typically, this medal has been our way of acknowledging volunteerism or service to the school. I immediately figured Charlotte would get this medal because she organized the coat drive this year. So I kind of zoned out a bit again. I looked at my watch, 10.56. I was getting hungry for lunch already. Henry Ward Beecher was of course the 19th century abolitionist, blah, 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 Mr. Tushman was saying when I started paying attention again. While reading up on his life in preparation for this award, I came upon a passage that he wrote that seemed particularly consistent with the themes that I touched on earlier this year. Themes that I've been ruminating upon all year long. Not just the nature of kindness, but the nature of one's kindness. The power of one's friendship. The test of one's character and strength of one's courage. And here the weirdest thing happened. Mr. Tushman's voice cracked a bit. Like he got all choked up. So if your voice cracks or if your lips quiver, if you get choked up, you're probably about to cry. I started paying attention for real now about what he was saying. The strength of one's courage, he repeated quietly, nodding and smiling. He held up his right hand like he was counting off. Courage, kindness, friendship, good character. These are the qualities that define us as human beings and propel us on the occasion to greatness. And this is what the Henry Ward Beecher Medal is about, recognizing greatness. So do you think this award could go to Julian? Do you think he's a good example of kindness and friendship and character? Do you think it could go to Jack? What do you think? But how do we do that? How do we measure something like greatness? Again, there's no yardstick for that kind of thing. How do we even define it? Well, Beecher actually has the answer for that now. He put his reading glasses on again, leafed through a book, and started to read Greatness. Greatness lies not in being strong, 
but in the right, using the strength. He is the greatest whose strength carries up the most hearts. So when you're kind, he's saying you carry up hearts. Now he's not saying you physically carry up the hearts. If you're feeling down or if you're feeling sad, your heart kind of gets lifted when somebody is nice to you. And again, out of the blue, he got all choked up. He put his two index fingers over his mouth for a second before continuing. He is the greatest, he finally continued, whose strength carries up the most hearts by the attraction of his own. Without further ado, this year I'm very proud to award the Henry Ward Beecher Medal to the student whose quiet strength has carried up the most hearts. So, will August Pullman please come up here to receive this award? Okay, boys and girls, all you have to do today is answer the wonder questions in an I-Ready lesson. And if you didn't finish the drone lesson from yesterday, you have to finish that as well.